Here I've got my uh, old Gaja Classic with a few mods. I've got obviously the PID uh, controlling the heat. I also have this Taylor thermometer here and the sensor bead is down here on the group head. And I just use that as a second indication to help me know, you know when the boilers actually heated up. Because the PID sensor is near the heaters, near the heating elements on the boiler. And so this thermometer is nowhere near those heating elements. It's down here on the group head and uh, just gives me an indication that the boiler really has come up to temp. Um, in fact, it'll probably be pretty hot right now because it's been resting. So Let's try... Oh, I've got a simulated coffee puck in here. This is my thermal filter, and that's a readout right there. Um, let's see what a shot looks like. I've got a small shot glass, and I, I usually pull pretty concentrated espressos. I um, wouldn't fill that. I'd fill that maybe three quarters full, so here goes. That's about that's about the size I would pull for a shot. Sorry, I don't know about you, but I uh, I like real concentrated ristretos. Now, if I tried to pull another one right now, it would be cold. Well, it'd be a little cooler because uh, it takes some time for all that heat to get back into the you know get back into the boiler. Notice this is down to 192 now. That was up closer to 200 when I started that shot. That last one was a little hot. Uh, what was it? Two, uh, a little over 200. I, you know, I usually like it more around 198. Depends on what coffee I'm using. Well, let's start a shot and see what we get. It takes it a second to come up to heat as uh, the water's got to fill up that space on top of the simulated coffee puck. So I'm I'm pretty pleased with the with the temperature there. But this this thermometer comes in really handy because it lets me know how close it is, how close that boiler has come to being recharged. It's reading 196 right now. If I were to start a shot, it would probably be around 196 is about what I would see. Because um, if the water were hotter than that, the group head's only 196, it would be sucking that heat out of it and pulling it down to 196. So I find that's really useful for me. If I want to have a shot around 198, I want to let that group head thermometer get up to about 198. So when that hits 198 I'm going to start a shot and let's see how close to 198 we see uh, with that on this thermofilter. Almost there, there's 198. Let's start a shot.
I should have my timer out. I'm just going by the volume of liquid that I'm, you know, putting in the shot glass. Well, hope that's useful for some of you.